Well, nice to have you company today on At The Close. Uh, as repeatedly pledged during the election campaign, the coalition uh, today saying it was scrapping the Rudd government's changes to FBTs on cars at a cost of $1.8 in annual revenue. Let's now go to the managing director of the salary packaging firm Remunerator, Matthew Hone, to get his take on the news today. Um, and we spoke to someone from uh, NLC, another salary packaging company, earlier today, Danny Wilson. He was saying this was the final piece in the, in the recovery puzzle for them. But give us some background. How was the business affected back in July when, when the announcement was made? And how has things tracked since? Basically, what happened virtually on that day, uh, all business stopped. The phone completely stopped. We had a trickle of phone calls coming through, probably about a 90% drop in phone calls, and it just went on for two months with complete uncertainty of exactly what was going to happen. Fortunately, uh, the election happened. Uh, prior onto the day and prior to the election, uh, 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 Abbott and uh, uh, Hockey came out and said it will be uh, not going ahead. But until they came out today in their official positions, it gave certainty to the market and about 30% of the employers out there were holding back, just waiting to see exactly what was going to happen. Today is that day when finally uh, we can move forward with certainty. Are you satisfied it could never happen again? You can mm. never predict what's going to happen in the future, uh, mm. particularly in the environment attacks. But I think what it did is highlighted that uh, it had a significant impact throughout the whole economy, not just uh, salary packaging providers. I thought we were at the bottom of the food chain. It was basically motor vehicle manufacturers to dealers to service to the whole industry. So mm. it really sent a message out to the, uh, uh, the political party of the day that mm. uh, if you uh, dabble in this area, it does have a significant impact throughout the whole economy. When did the phone start ringing again, in fairness? Can you chart a time when, not, notwithstanding what you've said about today's final mm. undertaking, but when did you really see the traffic start to return? Really, about two weeks ago. See, the, uh, the election happened just before the school holidays, and then we went into the school holidays, and then uh, through the school holidays we had the footy finals, and then at the end of the school holidays, then uh, New South Wales and I believe Adelaide or South Australia had uh, a long weekend, and then uh, the weekends after we had the devastating bushfires up in the New South Wales area, and that really just slowed everything completely down. And it was probably about two weeks ago we started noticing things starting to pick up again. Yeah. Where to? Probably about 70% of where it was pre this whole uh, debacle back in July. The Salary Packaging Association said about 300, or more than 350 jobs were lost in the industry because of the, the proposed changes. Hmm. Are, what are your hiring plans? How are you thinking about the future in that way? Well, from our point of view, we took the position back in July that, uh, uh, that uh, it wasn't going to go ahead, whether it was Labor or Liberal who were in, uh, going to be in uh, uh, power after the election. We took the position, well, we'll hang on for the two months, keep our staff, because there is tremendous cost involved in training and recruitment and so forth. Uh, we got a commitment, we worked with our staff, and uh, basically we kept most of our staff for the whole period. So we've still been noticing it uh, up until a couple of weeks ago, the, uh, the strain of it all, but fortunately now that uh, we can move forward and hopefully we've got buy-in from all our employees moving forward. So from a staffing point of view, it's been of minimal impact to us in that area. Appreciate your insights. Uh, congratulations as well. Best of luck with the business. Thank you very much. Right. Appreciate it. From Matthew, our remunerator yeah. there, yeah, Matthew mm. Honan. So that's that's the real life impact, the practical application of what we've heard from Joe Hockey and Arthur Senior Dennis today.